Hey, what's up, boo? All right, so I'm in my mobile office today, okay? So don't forget, you guys, flip your roles. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. And use the spirit of discernment now. Mm, I'm jumping right on in, okay? The temple path card came out. This is today's energy update. Or whenever you tune into this video, this message could apply for you. Now, with that temple path card in the upright position, it basically is saying that you are headed in the right direction. Like you closing out your karmic cycles, you're using or utilizing the assistance of your angelic guides and um, you're in alignment, okay, with your true path is how I'm seeing it, all right? Now, show me what I need to see here. I think I just want to touch bases on that simple path card. <clears throat> Anything else? Anything else, my spirit team, before I move forward? Third chakra. Look, your frequency is even um, balanced. So your third chakra, your vibe, like I like to say, is high right now. So that's what's putting you on track right now, okay? So, of course, if you vibing low, honey, go back to the drawing board, Okay. Go back and do some self-reflecting. Go within, meditate, get out into nature. You know what to do. All right, so tell me about the Temple Path card. Somebody is definitely healing. Queen of Wands energy all day. So you and you're powerful. You're confident. You're passionate. You're self-assured. This is good energy. You're in, in a leadership position. Very independent, okay? And I'm even seeing financially stable. I, I feel like you really, really work. You you work. Like you got tunnel vision or you had tunnel vision. Okay. You probably still got that tunnel vision. All right. You like, mm, this is the goal. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to stay confident about this goal because I believe I can manifest this. Okay. So when it comes down to your vision and your creativity, I feel like you are tapped in. You are a natural leader. You inspire other people. Okay. Um, so this is why it's important uh, as well for you to be in good vibes, right? You may even be teaching others about their frequency and their vibration. Two of Swords comes out. Why is this Two of Swords coming out? So you may be weighing your options about something. Could be in career, in your career. Tell me about this. Knight of Swords comes out. Hmm. You got this determination is what I'm seeing. It's like to take action here or ambition or something. And, it, and it, it, again, it could be um, in regards to your financial gain. You know, whatever it is, it's like I feel like you're in this assertive, direct energy. Okay. Tell me about this. You're acting with speed and precision about something. Yeah. Yep. You're definitely driven by your ambition. Okay. And you're willing to take risks, especially when it comes to you achieving your goals. You don't want to be restricted. I break free from the limiting beliefs is the affirmation on this card. And the Eight of Swords came out. So when it comes down to you feeling trapped, um, paralyzed, powerless, whatever it may be, your your ambition is like no i'm not doing that so you're acting with that speed that precision it's like you know what in order for me to achieve my goals i'm gonna have to be driven so yeah you're not trying to feel imposed self-imposed you're not trying to feel restricted by anything you just know that you got to be very assertive and direct sometimes it even can come out in that perfectionist nature um but however just make sure you are listening to your intuition, okay? Because you know how sometimes when we're driven by our ambition and determination, it can kind of come off as, uh, how can I see it? <laughs> say it. It's, I don't want to say rude, but it's like, what? You in my way. I got things I got to do, <laughs> okay? It can come off as real aggressive sometimes, right? But you're just being assertive, right? Because you're about your business. It's like you're focused. 
I'm focused, okay? Eight of Wands comes out in the reverse. You may not, you so focused, you may not even um, be communicating with certain people. You've been through a period of waiting as well. And now you're just ready. You're ready to see this rapid progress and growth in your life. So this is a good thing. Yep, Eight of Pentacles comes out. So whatever you're working on or whatever you're working to master here, Five of Swords is also right beside it in the reverse. I feel like that's where your dedication is. You're seeing a lot of progress even in your career is how I'm seeing it or, or return some kind of way or in some type of financial investment. So wherever it, whatever this means to you, okay, I feel like this is a self-mastery level, right? This is what you have to do on your soul's journey. You had to master self or you're still mastering self okay um the five of swords basically i feel like there's some type of resolution coming your way or you are it's already happening but i definitely feel like you need to choose your battles wisely so i wouldn't even give any energy into conflict or even defeat the spirit of defeat and eh. Right now, you know, whatever happened, cut your losses to that and um, move into a state of acceptance and just move forward. Because, again, you're working on self-mastery at this time, okay? Tell me about the third chakra card. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. It's your vibe. It's your frequency. It's your energy, boo. That's what's helping um, you with, I don't like to say good luck, but helping you to manifest. This is what's helping you to um shift whatever happened whatever could have held you up whatever bad events that may have taken place in your life that's what's helping you to be able to move forward and see the wheel turn and things are getting better and working out in your favor and um fortune abundance whatever it is is like even luck is on your side i just seen 7 11. I feel like you are now trusting in the cycles of life at this point, right? And when you're trusting in the cycles of life, then that makes you more open to whatever new opportunities that are coming in for you. And you're entering this period here of growth and evolution. And being on the right frequency here is what gets you uh, where you're trying to go. So again, make sure you're staying in alignment. But all I keep hearing is self-mastery. Like that's what that's what the goal is tell me about this self-mastery why well, i keep hearing self-mastery what is it that you want me to speak on yep knight of swords comes out could be an air sign energy five of pentacles i feel like somebody is so determined and focused again it's like want to do it i don't you know how you just want to do it so perfectly right because of all of the hardships and the losses that you may have experienced, okay? The times you felt abandoned, your struggle, your unemployment, whatever it is. It's like somebody is in this energy of like, mm -mm, I don't want to ever experience those type of hardships again. I don't ever want to experience the difficulties, the struggle, whatever it is. I, my goal is positive changes in my life. I want to recover from my losses, I want to overcome these adversities. Yep, judgment card comes in a reverse position. Tell me why. I feel like before you or whoever this could be in your life may not, they may not have been ready. They weren't ready for the new beginning because they lacked that judgment, self doubt, all that other stuff. They could have had a lot of choices. But now it feels like here they're understanding what needs to be done. Yep, the justice card. They were doing things um, dishonest. Let's just do that. Or not being fair. Okay. Knight of Wands comes out. But now it's like this energy is shifting. You know? Somebody is very passionate and operating in that truth. All right, seven of swords, very passionate, very courageous, and, and really just operating in their truth. It's like this energy of um, taking action. 
Yeah, somebody's ready to achieve their goals. You in the right energy, basically. That Knight of Wands energy is the bomb, right? Because this is like, all right, I'm ready to take the risk. I'm ready to achieve the goals. I'm ready for my new beginning. 